Hello everyone. I hope you're having a terrific Tuesday. Today we're talking about making inferences. We read the book Ish yesterday. Think about our main character Ramon. How does he feel after his big brother Leon laughs at his drawing? Show me with your face. Yes, I see lots of frowns. You are correct. How do you know he feels this way? Think about that for a moment. On the next slide, we're going to answer a question. Hold up one finger if you think Ramon's feelings are hurt. Hold up two feelings if Ramon doesn't care what his brother thinks. Hold up three feelings if Ramon is proud of his work. The correct answer is one. Ramon's feelings are hurt, but it never tells us in the book that his feelings are hurt. I wonder how we know that. We can understand a character's point of view about something when we think about what they are feeling. Over here, you can see a um, image that shows us how to make inferences. Readers use story clues. I call them context clues. And what they know to discover what is not directly stated in the text. So we can use context clues and background knowledge to make inferences. When we put together the context clues and the background knowledge, we get more information. Now, what is Ramon's point of view about his drawing after Leon laughs at him? We know that he is feeling sad. I am inferring that Leon made Ramon feel sad and lose confidence in himself. Now let's look at the part of the book where we learn this. Ramon could not even answer. He just crumpled up the drawing and threw it across the room. Now I don't think a happy person or an excited person would throw their paper across the room. And I also look at Ramon's body. I look at his face and I see that his eyebrows are crunched. This illustration gives me more information. It shows me that he is upset. Over here, it says after many months and many crumpled sheets of paper, Ramon put his pencil down. So I can infer that Leon made him feel sad and lose confidence because in my context clues, it shows me he crumpled up the drawing and he threw it across the room. He stopped drawing and he looked sad. And then I can connect that to my background knowledge. I can think of a time when someone laughed at me and it made me feel sad too. So putting all of that information together, my context clues, and my background knowledge, I can understand that Ramon is feeling sad and not very confident. Now, I want you to take this, and I, as we read the story, I want you to make an inference about what the characters are feeling and thinking. Read along on the page as I read aloud. One day, Layla and her friend Catherine met at the park to play. They had a great time on the huge slides and the long, tall monkey bars. After a while, Catherine's little sister, Annie, came to play with them. I can do that too, Annie told them when they climbed the monkey bars. When Layla and Catherine went down the slides, Catherine's little sister said, I can do that faster than you. Layla and Catherine decided to go back to the monkey bars. Hey, hey, I'm better at monkey bars than you guys, said Annie. Catherine rolled her eyes. Layla said, it's not a competition. When they were leaving, Layla whispered to Catherine, 
maybe next time when we come to the park, it can be just us. Catherine looked at her and nodded. Think for a moment. Use those context clues and your background knowledge to make an inference about how Catherine and Layla are feeling. We're not sharing yet. We're just thinking. How do you think they're feeling? Hmm. Now, hold up one finger if you think Catherine and Layla are annoyed by Annie. Hold up two fingers if, they, if you think they want Annie to play with them. Hold up three fingers if they forgot Annie was there. Show me. I see a few friends still thinking and I want everyone to answer. Give me a one, a two, or a three. Very good. The correct answer is one. Catherine and Layla are annoyed by Annie. It doesn't say that when I look back in the text. I don't see anywhere that they use the word annoyed or frustrated, but I can see their actions. It says here that Catherine rolled her eyes. Layla said, it's not a competition. And when they were leaving, Layla said, maybe next time it can be just us. And Catherine agreed. Those context clues. And when I think about if I've ever been um, told, I can do it faster than you, or I can do that too, that makes me feel frustrated and annoyed. So putting together my background knowledge and my context clues, I can make the inference that Catherine and Layla are feeling annoyed. So one was the correct answer. If you got that correct, give me a silent cheer. Now the last thing I want you to do is to go into the chat box and you're gonna type two words. I want you to put a number one when you answer this blank and a number two for this blank. When I make an inference, I use clues in the what, plus things that I already what, to understand something about a character. So you're gonna fill in those blanks, go into the chat box, type a one and put this word in, and then type a two and put this word in. And when I say waterfall, you can hit enter. Ready? Waterfall. Awesome job, friends. If you put number one as clues in the text, kiss your brain. And if you put things that I already know, to understand something about a character, kiss your brain. Awesome job. When I make an inference, I can use clues in the text plus things that I already know to understand something about a character. Great job, friends.